Um, this game I'm, I'm about to show you is actually still going right now because this is a daily game, as you can probably see on the clock. I mean, like, I'm just gonna sit here for 10 days straight, right? That's for sure. I mean, and their, their battery will probably run out. So, that, that, it's not probably, it's definitely gonna run out if you just sit staring at the screen for 10 straight days. So, E45, Meta 6. And there's a very, well, I can't say it's a common idea. Well, it could be common, in fact. There's that, an idea of that I think you should try as often as you can. Versus pin, that's not really too special. I mean, like half, like, of the half the kids in the little make this pin. And those half the kids include me, so. This idea is that when your opponent doesn't, idea when your opponent doesn't play their usual like this and they're like don't do anything then you can just jump in right away and there's nothing you can do to stop you from doubling your opponents i mean like you can try this but then take takes and then now his king is wide open and of course you want to take with your queen that's obvious so this move right here it's very very powerful and most um, not most of the time, you almost always are able to, to like almost always checkmate or launch a very, very killing attack. I don't know why this always comes back to doing, but so when somebody does this to you, I'm not sure, but I think what I would do is do this because I mean, it looks like you're weakening your king, but really the only way. Like, the only way your opponent can make any progress, like, like any progress, is that they use these light squares, uh, H5 and G4. They use these light squares, but number one, your opponent's light square bishop is all the way on the other side of the world. And, if, if you want to use a queen, well, the only entrances are G4 and H4, and those are guarded by the knight. And even if your opponent does, like, something like this to get rid of your knight, you don't really have to do anything this and then they can try to retreat your knight but if you, as long as you like do something like this and then they try to invade you they really can't make much progress although i wouldn't recommend it there's always some kind of like little tricks in the, depending on the position but though i wouldn't rec recommend it it's definitely better than having a straight on attack on your king so maybe your takes takes again he finally took the knight and doubled his pawns i was a Annoyed that this little bishop down here wouldn't let me play that simple queen g4, queen g7 move, but a little touchy about that. Takes, takes, takes. Wait, here, I think he just didn't see that his rookie cookie was gonna die if he took the pawn, but uh, move, move, a move like f5 would probably work, but takes, takes, and I think the game is he could probably know that I'm gonna win this game. Takes, 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 takes. Drop my queen back. Attack my bishop. Check. Okay, it's called in between moves. It means like they're doing something before doing something else. I mean, I have to, uh, I, I obviously have to save my bishop, that's for sure. But if I check first, well then he has to do something about the check, right? He can't take my bishop and get out of the check at the same time. So he has to do something about the check. And then another in between move, I was kind of testing his limits. Now, if you take, let's go back. And if you take, well, then you get checkmated down here. And I don't think you want to be checkmated, right? You don't, right? Yeah. It's pretty sure of that. So the bishop dropped back. That will need to get rid of my, um, um, like, sort of, not get rid, like, get my bishop out of danger while winning yet another pawn. King over, attacked his bishop, drop back again. Again, should be sneaking in, taking his pawns. Again, I think this pawn's going down. Takes, 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 over. Again, I'm just rerouting all my attention to this last little hope he has. Takes, takes, takes. And this move right there puts him in a, in a way called Zugzvonk. It's like, it's like any, any move he makes, like makes his position like completely losing. Because 
this wasn't the only way to win. Uh, we could have won like a plain one. Instead of doing this, you could have just like um another move that puts him in Zig's wall. Because he can't hold on to the h5 pawn, right? The only way he can hold on to the h5 pawn is going by going to g5 or taking my, my own pawn. But then, again, basically, when you're ahead of rook, you can't really do much. Then you can, like, do this, and then he can't guard both pawns with his own king. So let's say he guards this one, and then take, take this one. So lots of different ways you can win, but I kind of like this one. This one kind of a little touchy. Art, art, like artistic. So took that one. Check. Remember, when you're ahead by like a whole, like a whole bunch of material, it's okay to give back a little bit of material to to win an easier game if the material you have left is enough to win. Because this pawn is kind of annoying, right? Because if I let it, if I let it promote, well, then you'll have a queen. And although I might be able to promote these free pawns to make more queens, it'll be kind of like, kind of like hard, hard because my team might like fork, fork my king on my rook or like take my pawns or something. So I don't want them to get any counterplay. So what I did was I sacrificed the rook for the pawn because this king is in no shape to get all these other pawns. And this is where we stopped. And we're not done yet, but I think we're pretty sure that I'm going to win this one. As long as I don't get any steel might, but what, what my plan is, um, right here, what my plan is to, like, uh, let's say, goes here, to go here, well, he's probably going to, like, <laughs> what's he doing down there? So, he's probably going to take my pawn, and I could just, like, the more fancy way to win would be, Stuff like this. This is kind of what you're just giving your away like for me. But you can, I mean, you can still do this, right? Right. You can you can still do that. But I'm thinking I'm staying to the simple side. So, um, also, again, these are the you have to be careful. You can you know, think, oh, oh, you can sign your own ways. But what you can't do is you can steal me. Like this version I just showed you. You can't go to King of Them because if you want to reroute it. Queen over, I mean, it's very close to stalemate, right? I mean, it's like Black King, like, has barely anywhere to move, so you have to be a little careful about snowmate. But that's why I'm not promoting these little pawns yet. So, again, always be careful for stalemate when, when your opponent only has a king and a couple of pawns.